<laughs> yeah, absolutely. All right, it looks like we're just about ready to jump into uh, Lucky Ginger. Uh, we did see them uh, on stream uh, warming up really quickly, and it looks like we're in there. So. And right away, Ginger gets a big combo. Lucky almost gets the reversal, but uh, Ginger fights, fights his way back, and we're at 120%. Oh, what? He's fine. <laughs> Not even any problems. Lucky just doesn't go for the edge guard. Thinks that the shine is going to be enough to close things out, but instead, Ginger's the one who makes uh, the first kill. Lucky answers back with his invincibility really effectively. So three stocks apiece, no problem here. Uh, let's see who can create their first big lead of the set. Yep. All right. And apologies to everyone if I just ran into the super quiet. Apparently my mic just likes to reset the audio of the game. And I just have to keep looking at it. And it so, <laughs> Minor detail. Does anyone feel free to yell at me? And I'll just stick with it anyway. So hopefully I sound fine. <laughs> All right. Ooh, okay. Ooh. And Ginger able to close that out. Uh, Lucky, I think, was looking to avoid uh, or, or try to get the tech there on that uh, dare, but doesn't find it quite right. And instead, Ginger uh, finds himself up a little bit. But a great combo from Lucky. The S, the I, really clean. Mm-hmm. Ginger side B is back on stage, but the up smash finishes it off. And just like that, we have a tied game. All right. Two stocks apiece. Neither player able to get a big open up here. Um, Lucky also doing a great job of avoiding uh, the invincibility from Ginger there. Actually takes 0% and ends up forcing Ginger into the corner. Oh. Combo of his own. Finding the up tilt and Ginger has... Good choice to up the there. That's pretty much made it. Taking up the but once again the ledge hop double lasers. Ooh, and Ginger picks it up again. This time actually making use of his invincibility pretty effectively. Uh, gets Lucky up to 80% right away. Oh, Lucky with the jump out. Almost got caught by that grab. Okay. Ooh, Ginger gets the down tilt, or the, the F tilt again, uh, pushing Lucky off stage, but not able to find the dare to close it out. Lucky, another lease on life here. Ginger gets the up throw back air. Lucky with good DI, still not gonna die. Okay, Ginger gets the shine, uh, but able to close it out anyway. Gets the back air to close out and bring us to a last stock here. Oh, the double jump dare catches Lucky trying to swing. And all of a sudden, we're back to perfectly even. Ginger makes up for that slight disadvantage and gets the dare. That's just going to kill. It was like 50% finds one shine off a of no tech from Lucky and just blows him up right away. Ah, I've been revealed. <laughs> All right, out of nowhere, L Lucky and Ginger were playing like super even throughout that whole set or that whole game. Uh, Lucky able to find like a slight advantage there going into last stock, but then Ginger just deleted it with a quick kill, getting the dare off stage at really, really low percent. I think any lower, and Lucky might have actually just been able to upbeat back. But we're going to go straight back to Pokemon here for game two. Yeah, finding these low percent kills is super critical in these positions like that. And, uh... Allowing you to kind of make the comeback like that. So Ginger's going to be up in the game, and Lucky's down to go right back to the same stage. Mm -hmm. A great tech chase to open things up here from Lucky. He gets a bunch of different ways to get the punish, and even gets the CC there. Oh, but the side B doesn't get the punish in time. Ginger going for the back air, gets the shine on the way back. These lasers very clean from Ginger, forcing Lucky off stage, but oh, Lucky with a great wall ride there, uh, even on Pokemon Stadium, to make it impossible for Ginger to close out the stock. Yep, and Lucky finds the Nair over here, gets him off stage, and immediately finds the back air to close it out. So Lucky's up a clean stock over here. He kind of had a, a stock lead the entire last game, but Ginger is able to make a comeback. So it's good to see that Lucky's not too shook, like he's keeping that, that momentum he had from last game. All right, three stocks apiece. This time it's, uh, or once again, Lucky's able to avoid a lot, a lot of punishment from the uh, invincibility from Ginger. Oh, he gets the grab, but isn't able to follow up with the, F, or the up smash. Ooh, good ledge dash. He's kind of moving really well. Gets right back to center stage using the platform to do it. Finding the shine knockdown into the up smash. Oh, the turn around up tilt. Maneuvers around the get up attack, but does get clipped out of down air recovering back. Oh, Ginger tried to go for a super late down air to catch Lucky trying to shield his recovery option, but the hitbox just doesn't come out in time. Oh, and the great shorten there by Ginger able to make it so that Lucky can't get the closeout, but Lucky answers right back, gets the up throw up air. 
three stocks to two, Lucky with a slight lead. Yeah, Lucky able to maintain the slight lead. It feels so tenuous as both players are just kind of killing each other back and forth. Lucky consistently taking the stock first until the very last one of last game. Oh, the miss ledge dash is going to tie it back up. Ginger didn't even take a percent. Right, Ginger, we saw this last game where he was able to delete a uh, late in the game slight advantage from Lucky. Uh, that SD sort of doing the same thing for him here game two. Lucky answering back very quickly though, gets the tech in place up smash. Oh, get up attack, knocks him down. That gives him a good chance to kind of take the stock. No, Lucky's able to convert to a platform tech chase. That up there, I believe, was as close as you can get to a minimum percent kill. All right, so 25% here for Lucky. Ginger has his work cut out for him to try to close out this game. Who Lucky chooses to go for the shine there, recognizing that mid spacing Ginger's not going to be able to answer back too well. But Lucky slice off. That's basically another SD. Only yeah. two on the game. Can he take it anyway, or is Ginger going to? Oh my it? God, he's looking prime to do it as he takes a lot of damage on him, maintains seven straight. But Ginger is ready for his own combo, and is he going to do it again with a huge kill, zero to death at the end? Not quite. Lucky finds the back air. That's going to be it. The roll on is enough. Lucky just consistently took the stock first, then SD'd until he won the game. <laughs> Yeah, really, really clean stuff there from Lucky to close it out, despite getting two SDs. One thing I do want to call out really quickly is uh, Ginger has been really focused on dealing with uh, people who CC the shine at early percent and end up getting like knocked down into the ground. Uh, there we saw the open up of that last stock combo was he got the short hop dare after that shine situation. So right. Ginger definitely playing very cognizant, but just wasn't able to close that one out. Instead, it's 1-1 one, one and we're going to battle for it. Ooh, that SDI on the upside, <laughs> disgusting. Falco just teleports to the right and then falls off. No way for that combo to continue. And you're finding the fourth throw that knocks down into the corner. Lucky's out. And again, the cognizance from Ginger recognizing the um, trade instead of the clean hit and being able to respond right away. But Lucky just putting out the hitboxes in the right spots, catches the early side B, uh, trying to go for the edge cancel on the side platform. Uh, Lucky. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody saw that? <laughs> <laughs> Nobody saw what? <laughs> Ooh, I feel like a big lead on that Ginger's recovery happened. Uh, you mentioned the side B before, he's also going to double laser from the leg. And it's just like, he, he's not like low chart edge guarding absolutely perfectly on covering everything. He's just calling out what, what Ginger tends to like to do in the right? And being correct like that, sometimes you only need a couple of reads to take the game. Oh, and Ginger goes for the double jump dare. Uh, Lucky barely holding the double jump a little bit longer than you might generally expect, and so avoids Ginger's uh, gimp attempt. But Ginger maintains control, holding center stage, gets the backer back off stage. Lucky just goes to the ledge, and that's going to work out for him. Yeah, that's a really tricky up the height to do. It's like right above the ledge, and so if he's already started his up the if you aren't already jumping out there, you're giving him the right? And that lucky mm -hmm. game bird, barely riding the wall on battlefield. Like, you're not even supposed to be allowed to do that, you know? <laughs> yeah, but unfortunately, Lucky misses another ledge dash, losing a stock for it. Ginger trying to capitalize off of this. He's got a full stock lead, but Lucky with the combo. That side B from stage, you mentioned the double lasers. This time, Lucky looked for it a little too hard, and he's the side B. Yep. And that's kind of what happens, right? Like, when you're going for big reads, they will give you stock counts, but you're not going to be able to cover them, right? Mm -hmm. So, I wouldn't be surprised if you let you read the next time. But he doesn't even give him the ledge, he just backers inside the outright and takes the stock. All right, so two stocks apiece here. Ginger with a 60% lead, but keep in mind that's mostly coming off an SD from Lucky. Uh, so Ginger can't be feeling very comfortable right now. Oh, but Ginger's going to come to position until he messes up a wave land, which gives Lucky a ton of control. Oh, the backer actually trades with the side B and still allows him to punish it. Full control right now, but no, Ginger's backer should be enough to take the full stop. Very nice by Ginger to find that. Um, he, he has caught Lucky sort of repeatedly uh, trying to dive in, and he, he just puts out the bear in place and, and catches Lucky making those moves. But when he doesn't have the bear to protect him, SDI. Oh, yeah. oh, he's Gross. teleporting four like, character lengths away, and it's enough to actually lead us to the kill. No! The downer doesn't come out, and instead he gets burned by the fire. Lucky takes the stock. Another lease on life. He wanted the suicide downer for sure there. Mm -hmm. Lucky can cash in on this after a couple of SDs, it's, it's only right that he gets gifted one, right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and that, that's got to be tough for Ginger because it absolutely would have just taken the game straight out. Um, instead, he's got to fight for this one one more time. And Lucky with the big combo to open things up, catches the regular get up with an up air, finds an air. Oh, Lucky just barely not close covering everything off the ledge. Yeah, he really wanted that dash back, but doesn't quite get there in time. Fight his way back out of the corner, finds a laser. Lucky's now the one in the corner, overreaches, but Ginger gives up the space, and Lucky finds a backer, sends him off stage, the up the angle, it's good, goes to the ledge, these guys can't kill each other. 
It's so tight here. Oh, look, Lucky gets caught going to the top platform, but he actually gets the Nair out in time and able to close it out with a Shine Spike. Lucky up 2-1, but like just by the skin of his just teeth. Oh barely. my god. He was dead to the suicide down there, right? That's got to be a moment where you kind of kicked yourself for it. But at the same time, Lucky was kicking himself for his Zesties earlier, maintained his cool and kind of make, makes the comeback here, right? So he was kind of behind that game. Lucky's now up 2-1 in the set. Uh, that's not over, right? You gotta keep your head in the game, you gotta keep playing well, and uh, this is definitely ready to go right back to the game. Alright, so we've seen this work out in Lucky's favor. Let's see if Ginger can do the same uh, and win on the counter pick the second time around. Almost! He carries him all the way off stage. Doesn't quite get the kill, though. Ginger's still in there. He's the one coming. Oh, back and forth. Ooh, and I, I really like that from Ginger. He goes for those dash attacks, which I think was the only thing he could get like a true hit off of. But recognizing that Lucky's not at high enough percent to combo off the dash attack, instead he waits and gets the tech chase. Uh, and that's how he's able to close out that stock. Really, really cool. Yeah, he finds the back, puts him back across the stage. After a platform tech chase, up smash. Once you're high enough percent, you do have enough time to wave line there. And uh, up smash, even the second place, which means there's really no gamble play there. You're ready to react to everything. 42% is not an insurmountable lead, and just like that, Lucky is closing the gap instantly. Oh, oh, Lucky looking pretty scared there as Ginger makes it look like he's going to go off stage. He chooses not to, but maintains a great position in center. Lucky using the side platform to sneak his way back to center and reclaim control of the match right here. Oh, he dash attacks just a little bit too early, not able to cover the side D there. Doesn't turn around in his shine too, so he wasn't able to grab the ledge. Ginger capitalizes on it. Seems to be slight tech plug and takes the stock first. Let's see if Lucky can turn the edge guard into a kill. No, it's Ginger's top. Yeah, and the great use of the shield there to catch the uh, dash attack uh, and then open up a big combo. He gets a quick 70%, trying to set up a full stock lead here. And that should do it. Yeah, he's able to find the shine dare. Three stocks to one. Ginger looking super strong here, ready to force a game five. Yeah, his combos have been so efficient this game. He's just really finding the conversion into the edge guards and finding the edge guards into the kills. And just like that, he finds himself a full stock up even after losing his last stock here. But he can find the hit he needs to kind of bring it to a game five. Yeah, and even though we're, we're singing Ginger's praises here, Lucky also looking super strong right now, uh, playing it really cleanly and, and making Ginger really work for it. That up smash was definitely a mistake, but it works out for Ginger this time. An up smash out of shield works out in his favor. I think that one was a little bit more intentional. Uh, it was a mistake. It looks really good. So it's a, <laughs> I mean, the oh, low and down yeah, yeah, yeah. covering the patented Lucky angle and uh, just finds a kill for it, bringing it to game five. Lucky's going to have the counter pick here coming to the last game, but I don't think that there's like a doomed stage or anything left. Mm -hmm. We're going to have, a, you know, an honest match here. <laughs> yeah, I, I agree. I, I I get the feeling we're going to see uh, FOD. I think that's that's sort of a comfort stage for Lucky. So we'll see if he ends up choosing that. I know Ginger's been liking that stage a lot in the match. Well, no, Ginger hates that stage, yeah, hates um, but yeah, I don't think he's had like... Mango land, he's going way back in the day. He's always picking stage. And just like that, Ginger is picking up a really good DI from Lucky, making it really hard to find. Oh, and Ginger, you know, he's talked a lot about this matchup, and when he's able to find those uh, up tilts on full hops, I feel like that's when he's like really firing on all cylinders. That was the big open up that got him that first stock there. So only 40% setting up for a pretty strong lead here to start game five. And that instant side B. Oh my god. Light off side B is so bad. Here. It still works. Uh, it's really hard to react to. Sometimes getting knocked over, knocked off the stage. You're not even ready to do it. Finding the soft backer back towards center stage. Not able to turn that combo into what he wanted, but Ginger is going to punish hard. When Ginger goes for the up tilt again, but gets caught by a short hop nair from Lucky, that was like one frame from working. And the ledge dash is clean, gets the up smash. Ginger in a really tough spot here. Oh, that but was he's in the edge guard. Yeah, it sounds like just that the distance with the up E was it's not super easy to cover everything with the back there, especially if you're not the right? So, good stuff for Ginger for capitalizing on that. And man, does he capitalize and he takes? No, he doesn't get the edge guard either. <laughs> Ooh, Ginger maintains the uh, corner pressure really effectively, catches the dash attack once again. He's been really consistent with that. Uh, Lucky gonna have to be really careful using that going forward. Oh, Lucky, look at the pressure. Once he gets Ginger in the corner, he does it right back to him, finds the Nair, brings it to three stocks. Yep, and now Ginger's gonna be looking to close out the game. Oh, oh. Yeah, he extends his lead here once again. Oh my god, these edge guards, they're both kind of fighting a lot of hard time finding the edge guards on this last game here. Doesn't matter, it does matter. <laughs> my god. <laughs> again. 
Lucky just stalls out and then gets the side B. Ginger giving up the ledge just at the last second. Uh, even baited us into thinking he was dead. Oh, and again, ah, Ginger just can't find the side B punishes. <laughs> Yeah, that was one of the things that Lucky was really capitalizing on earlier on, kind of punishing the side beast from Ginger, and now Ginger uh, needs to do it back to him. He still maintains the lead though, takes the stock first, now he's up 3 stocks to 2, 40% is not too bad. Yeah, and look at this laser control, great showing there from Ginger, throwing out a, a plethora of lasers in just different heights and using it off the side platform and changing up his timings a little bit, uh, really catches Lucky, and he's actually just built up 40% off mostly lasers. Yeah, and he's finding the correct hit every single time, finding the shines at low percent. That time he found an up tilt the moment he got Fox up to 40%. Way too clean here. He does die here, but he still has 96% of the game. Yeah, and you saw there Ginger hard read the side B, uh, looked for a down air, but couldn't find it. He is able to use the invincibility to set up that corner pressure and get the kill again. He's up two stocks to one. Game five here. Lucky staring his tournament life in the eyes. Ooh. Can he do it? Finds the shine knockdown, finds the grab, finds the up air follow up. Oh, the foreigner actually took the jump, but he wasn't ready to capitalize. I don't think he realized he took the jump. Let's see if he can turn this tech chase into an edge guard. Really good ledge dash from Ginger to kind of get back on stage here. Finding the pressure, the double shine. Oh, lucky. lucky with the correct moment to roll away uh, just as Ginger goes for the nair that would have shield poked. Very, very clean. But all oh, the dash attack again. We talked about it. Ginger catching that over and over. This time, Lucky goes for the nair instead, punishing Ginger for looking for that out of shield shine. Uh, man, it's getting really tense here. But Ginger finds the up smash. Is that it? Lucky has more chance to survive. Ginger finds the back air this time, covering that Lucky angle. And he's going to just edge guard his way to victory. A clean 3-2 from Ginger, winning it with a stock to spare. Uh, yeah. Ginger gets to keep his hopes alive. Yeah, you'll love to see that. It feels really good when you finish it off with a two stock, knowing that if you went to a last stock situation, game five, you don't want to have to put that sort of pressure on yourself. So able to kind of close it out with that edge guard there, especially when he was kind of missing edge guards earlier that game. Mm -hmm. I kind of mm -hmm. say like, no, 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 I still got this. I, I know what I'm doing here. So looked really clean from Ginger. He's going to keep his hopes alive, like you said, and he's going to move on to fight the swooper. And mm -hmm. Samus versus 